serenity. There was such a sense of success. There was such a sense of camaraderie that we knew we had to give this back to the next generation. And we knew that we were, you know, not the average people to do this. That we have came together collectively as a unit and were able to be successful at it. So thankfully we said, okay, how do we figure this out? How do we But one thing this pandemic has taught us is that we can do a whole lot virtually. So our projections, our desires for the future are to put together some virtual curriculum that we can show and uh, send to these organizations and we can impact children well beyond the North Carolina borders. Well, now that Leslie has talked to you and told you about all our camps, I'd like to introduce you to uh, one of the parents and the sons that attended our So I participated and I'm glad I did. In a small town like Lewisburg, there isn't really anything, any activities to participate in, especially someone like me, a young black male in a rural area. When I myself am an educator in Franklin County, um, eighth grade, middle grades, math. Yeah, pray for me. <laughs> But like he said, this program is needed. It is needed, I'm, and I'm just, I'm just so blessed and so honored that, um, and just grateful that you all have actually started this. And I'm claiming it. I'm praying and I'm claiming that there's just gonna be blessings, bountiful blessings that's gonna pour into this program, and it's just gonna reach all of these children that need it. So. amazing time and we would not have been able to be introduced to this sport if it was not for the, the wonderful experience of this amazing man who believed in us and was our very first captain and he continues to support us and he is here tonight and I would like to introduce you to him. His name is Captain D. Lamont. Please come up to the front. About the experience and it was wonderful. Um, when they when they all came to the boat that morning and as she said it was it was dark um, I saw all these people coming out on the pier and they all looked the same they all had the same shirts on <laughs> and uh, I thought oh my gosh and then they started in a little cheer But there was all five of them. <laughs> and I thought to myself, what have I got here? Our mission, as Leslie pointed out earlier, is really to give children an opportunity to see that there's so much more than they may have been exposed to that is at their disposal. There are so many children, even those who attended our camp, who had never been fishing, had never been on a boat. And for us to be a part of that first experience meant the world to us. And we want to reach more children. And as Leslie said, we want to be able to provide that experience to them free of charge. You heard their magic. You heard about their passion in the community, and you get the day with these ladies. You plus one. Or you can just go by yourself, no judgment here. So <laughs> who wants to open up the video? Let's see, just because we want to get some momentum going, let's open it up at $1,000 and see where we go. Do we have a $1,000? Thank you, $1,000. Now do we have 12 and a half? $1,000, it would have been now $1,250. They, yeah, we catch them, and they clean them. So we would like for the husband, the Ebony Angler husbands, the men of Ebony Anglers, please join us up here, please. You know, imagine five entrepreneurial women, five mothers, five wives, we're already busy, and then, um, you know, now we're out fishing. <laughs> for, for days on end, and they're like, when are you coming home? And uh, how much is that gonna cost? So we appreciate you all. We thank you. We want
want to 